Welcome to Ask Dr. Wife. My name is Jamie Adam, and today we're going to be looking at IV dosage calculations. There's more than one way to do IV dosage calculations. So today we're going to look at a couple of examples of ratio proportion, but also some equations that are helpful. Let's begin with heparin. Heparin is ordered to infuse at 18 units per kilogram per hour. The patient weighs 173 pounds. What will the nurse set as the flow rate? So in this case, the first thing we need to do is convert the patient's weight to kilograms. This is going to be an important number that we'll need through the rest of the problem. So to convert pounds to kilograms, we need to remember that conversion. So that's a conversion you have to memorize. One kilogram is equal to 2.2 pound. So in this case, to find the patient's weight in kilogram, we're going to take 173 divided by 2.2, which equals 78.6 kilograms. And that's the patient's weight in kilograms. To figure out how much heparin the patient's going to receive, we're going to take that value and multiply it by 18, because the question is saying that the heparin is ordered to infuse at 18 units per kilogram per hour. So we're going to take 78 Point six times 18 equals 1,414.8. And if we round, we can say 1,415 units. So we know that that's how much heparin the patient is going to receive. But we still don't know what to set the pump to. We don't know what the flow rate will be yet. So for this part, we have to look at how the medication comes, how it's packaged, how it's labeled. So if we look over here, it tells us there are 25,000 units of heparin in this 250 milliliter bag. So using ratio math, we have 25,000 units over 250 milliliters. And the amount that the patient's going to receive we have is 1,415 units, but we don't know how many milliliters this is. So this is going to be X down here, X milliliters. So in this case, we can cross multiply and divide. So we're going to cross multiply the values that we have. We have 250 times 1,415, and then we're going to divide it by the other number. So in this case, 25,000, which is going to give us 14.148. And because we can't set the pump to 14.148, we have to round. We're going to round to the nearest milliliter. So in this case, it's 14 milliliters per hour is what we'll set the flow rate to on the pump. For the next question, we're going to be using some formulas, and so I want you to be familiar with these. If you're trying to determine the flow rate, you can use this, this formula, total volume divided by infusion time, to find the flow rate. If you're looking for infusion time, you can take the total volume and divide it by flow rate. If you're looking for the total volume, you can take the flow rate and multiply it by the infusion time. So this is a good way to figure out how to calculate when you have two of these values and you're just missing that third value. You can use these calculations. So let's practice using this question here. A total of 450 milliliters of D5W remain in an IV bag. The flow rate is 75 milliliters per hour. It's now 12.07 a.m. So this question is looking for the infusion time, but also the completion time. So how long will it take for this bag to infuse? But then also, what time can the nurse expect it to be complete? So if we go back to our formula here, we see that we have a, uh, we're trying to determine the infusion time. So we can use this formula right here. Infusion time is total volume divided by flow rate. So if we go back, total volume divided by flow rate, where our, our total volume is 450 milliliters. So we have that value. And we're going to divide it by our flow rate, which is 75 milliliters, which is going to give us 6. OK, 
Okay, so it's going to take six hours to infuse. If it takes six hours to infuse and it's now 12.07, then we can expect it to be, to be complete by 6.07 a.m. And all we did there was take the 12.07 and add six hours. And so that's how we got 6.07 a.m. For the next question, we have the nurse receives an order to infuse 375 milliliters of packed red blood cells over three hours. What will the nurse set as the flow rate? So in this case, if we go back to that equation, we're trying to figure out what the flow rate will be. So we can use this first equation. Flow rate is equal to the volume divided by the time. So we have the volume. 375 milliliters and we need to divide it by the time which is three hours and so if we divide 375 divided by three the answer is 125 so we're going to be setting our pump to 125 milliliters an hour and that will allow us to get that 375 milliliter bag of red blood cells in over three hours if you have another calculation question, please go to AskDrWife.com. And if you have a question about nursing school or life, ask Dr. Wife. Nursing school won't feel so tough. Helping others won't be so rough. You are confident, compassionate, and so much more. But sometimes it feels like you're not too sure. So when